Today we did an awesome arm workout. We, you know, just whipped Kyle Kavanaugh, but he was a good sport and he handled it and he did great. Filmed on location here at Destination Dallas with the legendary Nick Del Toro behind the camera. Anyways, let's get into the workout now. So what we did is we first start off with the Kaz press. It's been known as a Kaz press. Other people call it the California press on a Smith machine. We're gonna call it the Texas press. Just because we're in Texas, we kind of like that individual liberty spirit of Texas, kind of that hardcoreness, you know, the last frontier of the Wild West. So we'll go ahead and call it the Texas Press. Okay, so let me give you a couple tips on that. So, with the, with the Texas Press, you want to you want to line the bar up in the Smith machine with the clavicle. Okay, and you want to bring it down in a straight line, and you want to bring it down to the point where your forearms and your biceps touch. Okay, so it doesn't need to come all the way down. It just comes down with your, so it's like a hybrid of a close grip bench press on a Smith machine and a tricep extension. Okay, so then here's the key when you when you lift the weight up, instead of turning this into like a bastardized close grip bench press, um, excuse the nomenclature, you wanna lead with your palms first. So instead of fist up, think palms first. Okay, and if you're having trouble feeling that mind muscle connection, a couple things you can do here, because a couple people have with this exercise, is isometrically contract your triceps for about five to six seconds beforehand doing the exercise, or you can slow down the negative, do a five second negative on that, and you're gonna really feel your triceps kicking in at that point, okay? Okay, next we went into, next we went into the, um, the what I call um, the um, triceps ladder, okay? So what that is, is um, I actually got this exercise from uh, Jim Stepani. I don't think I know everything. I make sure to keep that white belt mentality. I'm constantly learning, but we added a little twist to it. So what we would do is we're trying to accomplish 100 reps here. So what Kyle would do is a body weight tricep extension. He'd go to failure. Once he hit failure, we would stop and we'd raise the height of the bars. You can see in the video. So what this does is it increases mechanical advantage. Okay, so that means it's easier as you go up. But his fatigue is gone, so it's it's kind of like a constant state of maximum intensity. But we're making it where, like, if he started off fresh, it'd be much easier. So what this does is it prolongs how long you're, you're under tension from. This is like an extended set, but of the same exercise. It's like a rest pause. It's like cheating. It's all these sort of things into like one technique that just blasts your back arms or for you lab rats, your triceps into oblivion. Okay. After Kyle hit 100 reps there, we moved on to um, the one and one quarter French press. Okay, so what what the one and one quarter French press is? You want to make sure you're doing it with a rope here. Um, I got this exercise from uh, Charles Poliquin, um, and he does it a lot with the. He's done it with like the neutral grip barbell. I like a lot on the, on the the triceps rope because what it does is it. Um, it's easier on your elbows that way. So it's very elbow friendly this way with, with the rope. And by doing the movement overhead, you're really emphasizing the long head of the tricep. So what we're doing here is he's taking it, he's taking it down, okay, until it feels a good stretch. It doesn't have to be like a certain, you know, this is an exercise you're doing for like egotistical weights. This is just to, to make the muscle work. So you want to keep in mind muscle over weight. But, but by saying that is once he goes down, he feels a stretch. So once he feels that, Kyle feels that stretch, he wants to lift the weight a quarter of the way up, okay? So then once he hits a quarter of the way up, he comes back down. He's going to get a little deeper naturally with that stretch. So we're doing, we're really hitting the long head of the triceps and we're really overloading the muscle because a muscle under stretch is a muscle under tension, okay? After that, we moved on to the elbow flexors in the gym language called biceps, okay? So with the biceps, what we started off with is we started off with um, hammer curls, okay? So the hammer curls are done a little differently because normally Kyle does, you know, upwards of like 60 pounds. Today, you know, made him squeal like a dog with 35s. And so the way we did that was, is he came up and um, he did a normal hammer curl. And as he comes down, he, he stops 15 degrees short of extension, okay? So he's at that 15 degree mark, and we're gonna isometrically, um, is isometrically flex the muscle right there. Just hold it right there on the way down. So what this does is this activates the brachialis, sort of the, you know the work horse of elbow flexion. It's gonna make your so-called biceps look a lot bigger. Okay, so he isometrically pauses that. Then next, what we did after that is we go 
we went on to the ladder with bicep curls, okay? So with all these body weight, I should have said this earlier, and um, our legendary cameraman can edit this somehow, but um, what we need here, with Jailhouse Strong is, what if you read the original book here, I mean, yeah, I'm sort of pimping the book. I mean, these videos are free, so I don't, I don't see an ethical qualm here. But um, that being said, the foundation of the Jailhouse Strong training originally was body weight training. If so, you have all you need. You know, you were given, you know, you're given all these gifts and you have what you need inside you for all sorts of great things. So you're, anything outside your body weight is a luxury, okay? So we're going to the foundation of original Jailhouse Strong training with the body weight training here. And of course, if you have access to other goodies, you use them to maximize results. So they're, they're a luxury, okay? So now you see we're, we're integrating. It's not like about being dogmatic about, oh, we only use machines. We only use barbells. We only use dumbbells. We only do this, you know? It's whatever the hell works, okay? That's all that we give a rat's ass about. And that's that's what we're gonna that's what we're doing here. So we're using body weight movements today. So you know, a lot of times people say you can't work your body body weight, you can't work your biceps with body weights, which we prove and you actually know how to do. So what we're doing here is 100 reps. Kyle goes to failure, and we're we're um, by doing like basically he's overloading his biceps in such a crazy way because he's extending the set like we've already touched on. He is, um, you know, we're letting, I'm letting him get a little, little bit of cheating on the biceps because it's so difficult. And then the eccentric overload and the weight down, I mean, it is putting a total tax on his muscle, his biceps that he's ever felt before. I mean, we didn't do it, this workout was 45 minutes long. And I mean, he said he's never felt a pump like this before. And, you know, and he's, he's worked out with all, you know, these traveling gurus through here. And it, it, this has been the most effective way to do it. Okay, so. That being said, what we did is he hit, you know, goes a failure. We'd raise it up, increase, you know, better mechanical advantage, keep going until Kyle got 100 reps. Okay, so what that is, is, you know, it's, it's out, his elbows are out in front of his body, so that's, you know, going to work the short head of the biceps. Okay, so then what we did after that is we went into the cable, you know, cable curls. So that's on an incline about 60 degrees. You got to work from 45 to 60 degrees on that. And that puts his elbows behind his body. And this needs to be sort of the, how we're letting him get away with some um, cheating, if you will, on the um, on the body weight bicep curls. These need to be like strict. They need to be, you know, stricter than like, you know, growing up at a monastery, that strict. And um, they want to be, um, I mean, I'm, I guess I don't know if monasteries are strict enough. But I heard they're strict. Okay, so like theoretically. All right, so we want to get the... Um, do you want to get so there, his elbows are be, Kyle's elbows are behind him with the inclined cable curls, and uh, what that does is by getting his elbows behind him, he's hitting the long end of the biceps. So there we go. We totally taxed the elbow flexors, and as you see, we got a hell of a pump. And um, th there you go. There you have it. So we had a great um, session today.